Howdy, folks. Today, we're in Wickenburg, Arizona, about an hour outside of Phoenix. In the late 1800s, cowboys came here looking for gold. Well over a century later, we're here looking for greens. The town's named after Henry Wickenburg, a German prospector who discovered gold in the shadows of nearby Vulture Peak. Today's treasure hunters might only think of Wickenburg as a pass-through to Las Vegas, but you can bet a lick that Old Wick is a place worth stopping. It's a town where time ticks slow, horses hurry out to pasture, and cowboys and golfers get to be one and the same. Enter Los Caballeros, a 20,000-acre Wild West retreat filled with many leather-bound books. Okay, no need for a Ron Burgundy quote, but folks here have been getting their cowboy fix since black and white picks. We're talking roping, wranglers, wildlife, rounds of golf, real country-style vibes, and a saloon fit for any booze-loving buddy of yours. But first things first, get checked in and get a real key to some good old country accommodations. Yes! This is awesome. Boom. Well, hey guys. Like many of our shoots, we've arrived on scene, but are uncertain as to what to expect. The word on the streets, or trails, is that the man we need to talk to around these parts goes by the name of Van. Van's the man we're hunting for and figured he might be near this wonderfully outfitted western golf shop. Welcome to Los Caballeros. Thank you. Okay, so I am looking for Van. Van, he is over at the corrals today. The corrals? Yes, sir. Where all the horse shit is? Correct. All right, I, uh, I'm going to the corrals. Hey, how you doing? Did I help hey. you? Yeah, um, I'm looking for Van. Oh, yeah, Van, he's right out here on a horse right there. Mind if I? No, go ahead, have at it. All right. All right. How you doing? Hey, how are you? You're Van? I'm Van. Ryan, breaking par. Ryan, what's going on? Hey. How'd you find me down here? Well, there's a lot of people pointing me in the right direction. Thanks for coming down. Uh, definitely something a little different. Yeah. I'm sure you guys are excited to see the golf course. That's what you came up for. So let me finish up with this horse and I'll be right there. Sounds like a plan to me. Okay. See you on the course. Yep. Good deal. This is awesome, man. Wow. Can't really picture that guy on a golf course. On the heels of Halloween, you might think a golfing cowboy is just a costume. Think again. Meet Van Batchelder, director of golf and general manager of Los Caballeros Golf Club. A real life cowboy who happens to be a scratch golfer and oversees and overseeds things out here at Los Caballeros. Welcome to Rancho de Los Caballeros and Golf Club. The golf club was built in 1979. The golf course is a championship golf course. Five par fives, unusual par 73. Greens that were push-up greens in the 70s and the 80s. They still protect the golf course. Bent grass greens, overseed with rye grass in the fairways and the surrounds. The golf course is regarded as a player's golf course. And what we try to do is make sure that our resort guests also enjoy it. Something for everyone out here. And Van can tell you firsthand that even though he started his golf career in the Mile High City, it's this world-renowned rope in town that lassoed his love for the game. So I'm not new here to Los Caballeros. Uh, I came here in 1988. Yeah, my first head pro job coming down from Denver. I retired from the golf business in uh, 2020. New partnership bought the ranch and the golf club. Asked me to come on. I told him I'd help him out for a little while and see how it goes. And we have made tremendous progress. While his second stint here at the property won't have him here forever, we'll always kind of think of Van as the Los Cab mascot. So this has always been a good fit for me. I train colts and cow horses on the side. Uh, so I play golf in my boots and hat, and uh, I can go right from here to a horseback if I need to. You're in the Snoring Desert. You get to see some rolling hills, vegetation, green grass, coyotes. You're going to see something when you're here. And once they get that feel that they're out of the city, that's the good deal. With the Western vibes in full force, we couldn't wait to get on the course. Van took a signature hole hunting, and the back nine at Los Cab is a gold mine.
So what do we got here? Hole 14. Hole 14, about 395. Okay. Starting right here, you got to golf your ball. And I think the deal is that you're kind of warmed up playing all the front side and then you're back here. And it's the quietest spot in the whole ranch is right here, 14, 15, and 16. We want to try to carry the bunker. If we're not the longest hitter, we're going to go a little bit left to an elevated green. Do not cut the corner to the right too much. Okay. Favor that far left side. There's more grass than you can see from this position. Okay. So again, you don't want to get into your golf attire or anything? You're good to go? Turns out to be my golf attire. Oh, wow. Oh, geez. All right, I'm going to try to follow that. Good shot. Easy game out here in the country. I need to get in better touch with my feelings. Ah. I'm ready to see another one. Let's go do it. Van just kept stroking dimes. Beautiful. Well, that'll work. Oh yeah, right line, good job. Did you see this view back here to the right, Vulture Pink? It's so cool. Every time I come out here, I'm just blown away by it. <laughs> they just keep getting better, Van. They get better, but they don't get any easier. 16th hole. Wow, good ball. Thank you. Is it the cowboy boots, do you think, or? It's actually the hat. It kind of keeps the swing plane in check. Oh. So I swing underneath. You should try that. OK, all right, I'll take note of that. Oh, that is perfect. Good ball, Ryan. Heck yeah. Wow. Makes the course a little more pretty. All right, let's get on our horse. Let's do it. Yeehaw! When you saddle up on a golf cart for a couple hours and get lost in the desert hills of this dude ranch, it's easy to forget all the other stuff they offer. Rattle it off, all the things you can do out here. We have 20,000 acres to ride on for horseback. There's ATVs available out of town. We have a spa, we have skeet and trap, I have the pool, tennis. And he can play some golf. And he can play some golf. All right, man, this is too cool, man. Yep. Yucca in the fairway, in a bunker. Let's drop one. Closest to the pin. Over the yucca. I don't play for free, so what is it? A little sip of tequila. All right. Okay. Closest for tequila, bro. It could be a measure. Oh, man, I don't know. I think you might have got me. It might be a step off. Oh, it's you. I'm giving it to you. Nice shot. Thank you. I, uh, again, thought the cup was a foot closer than it was. Van almost dropped a bomb and, of course, won the tequila KP. But that's okay, because what happened next is a golf moment I'll never forget. Like it. What is that? Well, that happens every afternoon uh, and morning. No way! 80 head of horses running back and forth. Wow, that is so awesome. Do you know any other golf courses that do that? No, sir. Where are they going? They're going out to the night pasture, just a little bit farther south from here. Perfect day for me out here is, you know, the sun coming up in the morning, uh, me riding out there to wrangle in the horses and the sound of them running down the lane. The Horse Run's a really popular venue that we do here. Twice a day, we bring the horses in. We'll, uh, we'll run them in in the morning, gather them and bring them in, and then in the afternoon, we uh, set the gates and run them out. Not very often do you get to see 80, 90 head of horses all together on the run like that. And uh, even people that have been around horses quite a bit, that's something that they don't get to see all the time. What's up, buddy? Well, I have a real soft spot in my heart for horses. They are just, uh, you know, one of God's creations, you know, that are just, just the best. They're very forgiving, they're trustworthy, and um, they pack me around so I don't have to walk. Basically what I do is take care of 80 plus head of horses out here, the welfare for them, and provide a, a pleasant horseback riding experience for the guests that come here. 
Come on in, guys. You can find your names written up on the board right here. Your horse's name will be to the left of your name. Horseback riding is uh, one of the main attractions here at Lost Cab. It's a long tradition of horseback riding here, over 74 years of riding. We have morning rides, afternoon rides. We do sunset rides out here. We offer riding lessons for different levels of riders here. We have the right horse for the right rider. We have horses that are specifically for kids. Some of the bigger horses, obviously, we'd use for the bigger guys. And these horses, are, you know, they will darn sure take good care of the, the folks that come out here and ride. You guys have a good ride. See you in a couple days. what this is. This guy's gonna play golf. What do you think? That looks terrific, but it should be down at the corrals. I saw what you did yesterday. I'm gonna do it too. Well done. I couldn't tell if you're a wrangler or a player. That's good. Let's give it a try. Oh boy. Good job. I think today is going to be kind of an interesting day. I, I have experience playing in boots and a hat, but I'm not so sure about Ryan. Okay, Ryan, this is uh, the fifth hole, first par five that we'll come to on the golf course. 540 from the tips right here. Bradshaw Mountains in the background, elevated green. Kind of a hidden fairway. It's one of the few that we have here, but you just clear the trees, you're back in the fairway. Oh, nice shot. Best shot of the day right there. I think your swing got fixed with that one. It might be the boots. It might be the I boots. I think it might be the boots. If you don't mind, I'm not going to do it with chinks, OK? Yes, sir. I think that'll work all right. Man, just never met a man like this. And by the way, I have no idea why he's wearing a pair of chinks. He seems to think those are shafts. Those are actually chinks. Shaps go all the way down to the boot for protection. So he doesn't even know what he's wearing. I feel good. I feel good. Where are we headed next? We're heading over the par five seventh hole. Might not know what I'm wearing, but I know a badass par five when I see it. Hole seven is 560 from the tips with a mesquite tree smack dab in the middle. We've been asked to remove for 42 years, <laughs> but it builds the hole. Navigate around the tree, around the lake, uphill, into the wind. Just another gem of a golf hole. Every hole's different. There isn't one hole that's similar. And I think that is the comments that we get from most of our players. It's real. This is the real, real deal, yeah. It's the real deal. How you doing? Beat it. Don't be stealing my ideas, though. Right. Well, don't be stealing my idea. OK. <laughs> Clean it up, cowboy. Oh, what a putt. Oh! That's a first for me, playing golf like that. Well, yeah, look at you. Hi, my name's Jim Duncan, and I'm the range master here at Rancho de los Caballeros. Let's go do some shooting. This is Los Caballeros, skeet shooting, breaking par style. Oh. Nice shot. Hey. Oh. Hey. What a shot. Did you like the way I pulled it? Yes, I did. It was just right. All right. You like my boots? Are we ready? Yes, very nice. Thank you. Hey! <laughs> hey! You can't miss! Either you're pulling my leg or you shot trap before. It's light work. Okay. I can see your head swelling. Got it. Nice hit. 
All right, first hey. hit. Think you're ready for the golf ball? Oh. Up, up. Oh. <laughs> A little different kind of shoot today. Shoot. Oh. Cheers to you, sir. Cheers to you. Thank you. Now that was a treat. That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for, I mean, thank you for everything. This is just a, amazing. Thank you for the hospitality, showing us around, just blown away. I'm glad you could see the cool place, and thank you for coming up here. This is a treat to have you guys come up from the valley, check it out. I'd also like to thank you for a little bit of tequila. <laughs> well, cheers so, to that. You deserve uh, it. That was a great shot over there. Thank you very much. Van, I got to tell you, it's going to be hard for me to take these boots off, <laughs> literally and figuratively. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you did pretty good with them today, playing a little golf. I'll tell you this, there is going to be a piece of a golfing cowboy in me forever. Didn't know we'd play that quality of golf and didn't know that I was one hell of a trap shooter either. I'm good with a 9-iron <laughs> and a 12-gauge. Very good. <laughs> I, I think that the deal that everybody gets here is it's just a certain ambiance. I mean, you get here, you relax. I mean, here we are sitting in the fire and having a little sip of tequila. And, yes. Uh, that's not a bad way to end the day. Not at all. You know, everybody kind of gets in a hurry. And this is a good place to slow down. Mm -hmm. So I like to tell them a, a little saying I heard a while ago. Everyone's heard about the early bird gets the worm. Mm. Did you know the second mouse gets the cheese? <laughs> kind of gets everybody to slow down a little bit, not be in such a big hurry, you know. This place started from a gold mine, and this yep. is the current gold mine. Yeah. 100%. 75 years old. I mean, you cannot find that anymore. A ranch like this, 80 head of horses, golf course that old and mature. The golf course, unbelievable. The history of it, where she is now. Kind of a hard place to leave. It is a hard <laughs> place to leave. It's a special place. We love sharing it. So everything's cool, you would welcome us back. I think you can come back anytime you want. Nothing else to say. Thank you for the tequila. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. This will have a long shelf life with us. <laughs>